So, insane patch just was announced and dropped instantly. Nobody knew about it. So let's go into it and uh, see what it has in store for us. So the patch is releasing now, like now you can play it, like now. I'll go play it right after this. Uh, Pre-purchase the expansion. I might pre-purchase it now because I'm just so excited about the patch. Hashtag ad. Okay, uh, pretty good deals. I'm not gonna analyze them in depth because people on Reddit are already probably doing that. Log in and get Flight Master Dungar for free. Choose a flight path and go dormant. Awaken with a bonus when you complete it. I mean, we need to see the paths. Oh, these are the paths. In 3 turns, restore 10 health. In 5 turns, deal 12 damage. In 1 turn, summon a Tutu. Wow. This actually seems like a very good card. It might be like the only good card that they give out for free. Actually, they gave out Mancrick for free. Never mind. Uh, Balgrim's hero updates. New hero. Kurtus. Ash Fallen. He has multiple passives. Buy 3 minions in 1 turn to give them plus 2 plus 2 and progress this. Buy three minions in one turn. Well, you cannot do this until pretty late in the game. Like... On six gold, right? You can sell. Or on five gold. Maybe you can sell minions and buy three. I don't know. I didn't calculate it. But it's not that easy. Um, buy four minions in one turn to give your hand and board plus two, two. And progress this. Okay. Buy 5 minions in one turn to give all your minions this game plus 2 plus 2. Okay. Interesting. I will have to play to evaluate it, but it seems very interesting and pretty powerful. Depending on how quick you can do all of those. Um, new minion, tier 6. Neutral, it seems. So refresh Bob's Tavern with your most common minion type. Hmm, that seems pretty good, sometimes, I mean, it seems pretty good. Return, but it will appear every time, so it will dilute the pool a lot of the times. Hmm. The Lich King has returned to Balgrand's hero pool. There must always be a Lich King, haha, <laughs> very funny. Shadow has been temporarily removed, great, he sucks anyways. Galakrond, new hero power. Cost 1, choose a minion in Bob's Tavern, discover a higher tier minion to replace it. Huh. That sounds very good. Basically, you will be able to discover a 6 drop if you play Rafam Curve. No? Yes. You will be able to discover a 6 drop. Seems very good to me. Okay, Trade Prince Gallywix. After you sell a minion, get one extra gold next turn. Can exceed 10. Eh? Interesting. After you sell a minion, get one extra gold next turn. So you get one gold every single time you sell a minion? What? What? That seems too good. Am I crazy? Okay. Maev. Make a minion in Bob's Tavern dormant after three turns. Get it with plus one plus one. So three instead of two. They're changing the way dormant works. I guess... I mean, I guess there are some dormants that take more time, right? Whatever. Still pretty good now. I wonder, I wonder if it's going to be very good. I like it. Now, give a minion plus 2 plus 1 for each minion you bought this turn. Sexy. After you buy 5 battle prize minions, add Bron Bronzebeak to your game. Add what? Excuse me? Okay. Okay. Sure, sounds good. Iridan, if they make Iridan playable as well, I'm gonna go crazy. 
Your left and right most minion gain plus two attack and attack immediately. Garbaggio. Still trash in my opinion. Maybe Iridan is not that bad. No. Iridan is bad. Let's move on. Uh, freeze a minion in both Stavrin. Frozen minions get plus two plus one every turn. So basically now you can target it or what? You can target it on one minion. I don't know if that's gonna make Cindy that much better. Hmm. Goof! Now it buys minions buys plus one plus one. He's basically wag toggle now. He's basically wag toggle, but for tavern tiers, not archetypes. So just gonna be me mediocre. Give plus two attack the next minion you buy this turn. Wait, what? It Sorfang just got doubled? Okay. He's gonna be a real threat with Divine Shield. Start the game with a 2-2 two -two fish. Okay, instead of 1-1. One -one. Sure. Curator also with a 2-2. Two -two. Sure. Mukla big banana chance increased to 50%. Cool. New Deflectobot. Let's see. Whenever you summon a mech during combat, game plus 2 attack and Divine Shield. What? They just buff Deflectobot? <laughs> Okay, yeah, Deflectobot was definitely a weak unit. They deserved the buff. Um, eight attack, eight health. Still guard badge. One attack, four health. Okay, pretty good now. Two by one. One of the best one drops that is not a token. After you summon a demon, game plus one plus one permanently. So same effect, but starts at six six. Cool. Razar Gore starts as 4 6. Cool. Pack leader 3 4. Ooh, very nice. Mama Bear plus 5 plus 5. Mama Bear was already an absolute unit. Okay, 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 okay. I like, I like, I like. Soul Juggler 3 5, sure. 2 4 again. Interesting. I like this minion change. I don't really understand the Deflectobot change. He's already like one of the best units in the game. Especially taunted. Also, why no nerf to arm? Arm exactly the same? Arm of the Impala low Blizzard? They could just make arm a free free. At least. If they don't want to delete it. I don't know. I don't agree with leaving arm the way it is. Maybe it's a very skillful minion. Used with high win rate in high ranks. So they don't want to touch it because of that. And now prizes, returning 25% of the games. I think that's perfect. That's the best way to do it. Best way to do it. Happen at random and are not guaranteed to show up in every fourth match you play. Yeah, no shit. That's how 25% works. Sometimes they will show up. It's possible. I like that they explain it. They have to explain it so that the players are not going to be like, Hey, played four games, where's my prizes? I like how they explain how 25% works. You might get it multiple times in a row, or multiple times without getting it in a row. So thank you, Blue Dog. Thank you for explaining 25% how it works. Um, <clears throat> no further comments on that. They changed some prizes. I like how they display it in a very nice graph. Let's, let's make it bigger. I like it big, the graph. So, the flag got nerfed and now gives free random minions plus one plus one. Still very good and might be one of the best options, but now you have to think about it, not instantly pick it. Give minions in Bob's health plus two health permanently. That's a really good one. It might be like the best pick now. Turn two prizes for the rest of the game, reduce the cost of upgrading taverns by three at the end of your turn. So wait, what's the buff? Eh? I don't get what the buff is. They explain it there. Let me just read it here. Oh, it used to discount it by two and now by three. Okay, 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 okay. And they move the rat thing from price tier three to price tier two. Makes sense, a lot of sense. I like it, I like these changes, very good changes. Duals updates? Nobody cares. I'm kidding. 
Duels is a very fine game mode. I'm sure a lot of people care. Hold the line. Hmm. Fire Festival returns July 6th. And I had it here open. So the Fire Festival basically is going to give you legendary quests, which means more gold, which means you can buy the perks with it, or maybe if they sell the hero skins as well. Uh, Tavern Brawls, Tavern Brawls. More Fiery. It's a bundle for Constructed. It looks pretty cool. Ragnaros Shaman. I didn't play World of Warcraft, but what does Ragnaros have to do with Shamans? Just because he's an elemental or what? I'm here for the after party. That's what I care about. Just like in real life. After parties are the best. The party continues with Balgrans Cosmetics. Right after the Fire Festival ends, we're moving the party over to Balgrans. The first ever Balgrans Cosmetics go live on July 27th with Balgrans Bundle Beach Party. I like beaches and I like parties, so that's perfect. The Beach Party includes Beach Party theme skins for seven different Balgrans heroes. Can we guess the heroes? So that's Milhouse. That's Maiev? That's... Leech King? That's Jandis? Vol'jin? Tiketus? Goof? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did I get them all correctly? AFK? Is this AFK? It looks like Jandis to me. And his Ragnaros not goof. Oh, I guess. But this Ragnaros here. Um, you can also pick up Balgrans Heroes Shadowlands for 8 more Balgrans Hero skins based on Warcraft's afterlife. Cool. I like how they give you the option of grab either set or both. Buying none of the sets is not an option. Uh, stay tuned for more Balgrans cosmetics, including more alternate bartenders and more hero skins. That's good. And I'm gonna explain it that's good. You don't like it, don't buy it. You like it, buy it. And by them doing this, they're gonna earn more money. By them earning more money, from Balgrans specifically, they're gonna put more effort into Balgrans, so more bigger updates, more cool stuff. So this existing is good, even if you don't like it. Like, it doesn't hurt you. It's only a good thing that they found a way to make more money from Balrunds. Uh, next major Balrunds update is coming in a content patch. Balrunds is going to swap over 30 existing minions for new ones, specifically designed to play off the core fantasy. So basically, I think they're gonna just make every single tribe better by removing the garbage and adding good stuff. That, that's good, that's great. This seems like Balgrans coming out of beta, like they're doing a lot of things. Perfect, like I love it, I love more Balgrans things. I love it. Cosmetics are great, changing minions are great, and getting something right here, right now is great. Prizes, I hated the prizes, but I think prizes coming back in a more balanced way and showing up 25% of the games is like literally the best thing they could have done with prizes. Like imagine a future where they release something like prizes and then we're gonna have a rotation between vanilla game, prizes, that other something. And then multiple archetypes and then interesting things happening and then skins and then... Oh my god. I'm uh, salivating, I'm excited. Looking forward to this. But now let's play the patch. Let's go back to playing. Woo!